Hi, I'm Robert Liesertz and today I want to show you how to make a ball head war club. Yeah! If you want to make a ball head war club, you need a L-shaped piece of wood. You want to pick a hardwood for your ball headed war club. This piece here is interesting. This could be the handle and here the ball head. But the problem is that this part here is too small. This one here is also interesting because here we see a clear L shape which is quite good but the problem is here that the handle if we make a handle here that the handle is quite curvy and thus useless. <laughs> Look at this here the ball head is already here but the problem is <laughs> I don't want to take a whole tree down just to make my ball headed work up. This one looks great. Here will be the ball head, the handle, perfect. Good morning! This is day two. Let's finish this ball-headed war club. Coffee! Coffee! Oh. <laughs> As you could see, I had several ideas how to shape the whole war club. And actually, currently I don't have any real idea how I will shape it but what I know for sure is I will cut off this piece here because it's too long here is the ball head abracadabra here I will probably make a hoof of a deer then I will definitely remove some material here because you see this part is quite curvy and I have to make it straight As you can see, I removed quite a lot of material here and the curve here uh, is almost gone. It's not perfect. So this won't be as straight as I wish it should and could be. But, you know, a famous artist named Hundertwasser said that straight lines aren't healthy. <laughs> so it's okay for me if it's a little bit curvy no problem I have to make the whole handle a little bit more narrow so I can grab it normally it's much better than it was but as you can see I can grip it uh, as I should as you can see I removed quite a bit of material here and it's getting better and better here so the next steps will be that I will cut in here and remove this part here then here some stuff and then I will make here a deer hoof
Bem morte. Okay, thank you. And it's day three of making the war club. But the only thing we have to do now is to make some corrections here because as you can see here, this part is still too flat. And I will remove some material here and here. Uh, I would rather do this with my axe because it's much faster, but because I'm inside of my apartment, I will use this cool knife that I got from Alesh as a present. Alesh, thank you. If you're from Slovenia, check out Alex's channel. He's a cool dude. He's a bushcrafter. He's a security guard on a very high level. So he's a modern samurai and he's a really, really great guy. Hmm. It's day four and I already did some polishing with the sandpaper and I'm very happy with the result so far. There are still some smaller mistakes like this here and here, this mark of the axe and also here if you look very carefully. But honestly, and here as well, but honestly, I don't care. So as Zen Master once said that if things are perfect, they are boring, so this war club won't be perfect for sure. But I already like it very much. So why am I covering the whole war club with oil for woods? Uh, the reason is very simple. So I will protect the wood and it looks much nicer. You can clearly see the difference where the oil already covered the wood and I think it's much nicer this part here than this part here so let's cover the rest as well it's beautiful look at the structure of the wood fantastic And if you ask yourself, what kind of war club is this? I got really inspired by the Native Americans who use this kind of war clubs. I guess today we will have some pumpkin soup for dinner. If you want to know how I made this throwing stick, this non-returning boomerang, before it was painted that crazy by my daughter and me, click on the end screen. See you in the next video. Bye. Hi, I'm Robert Lissatz and today I want to show you how to make a warhead ball club. Ball club? Ah. This looks like coffee beans.